Planning a wedding can be an exciting and inviting experience. There are so many details to consider and it can be delicate to know where to start. In this video, we will give you a comprehensive guide on how to plan your dream wedding. From setting a budget and choosing a venue, to selecting a marriage party and planning the forum and event, we will cover all of the important details to help make your big day a success. So whether you are just starting to plan your wedding or you are in the final stages of the process, this video will give you all of the information you need to create the marriage of your dreams. So let's get started. Number 1. Setting a Budget The first and probably most important step in planning your dream wedding is setting a budget. It's important to have a clear idea of how much money you have to work with so that you can make informed decisions about all of the other details of your wedding. Determine your overall budget range. Start by deciding on a rough budget range. This will help you to make informed decisions about all of the other details of your wedding. Break down your budget into categories. Allocate a larger percentage of your budget to the items that are most important to you. And be flexible on the items that are less important. Common categories to consider include venue, attire, flowers, and photography. Consider any additional costs. Don't forget to factor in any additional costs such as transportation, favors, and gratuities. Communicate with your partner. It's important to discuss your budget with your partner and make sure you are on the same page. Be realistic. Don't overspend on your budget. It's important to be realistic about what you can afford. Be flexible. Be open to making compromises and adjustments to your budget as needed. Set aside a contingency fund. It's a good idea to set aside a small contingency fund in case of any unexpected expenses. Number 2. Choosing a venue. The venue is one of the most important decisions you'll make when planning your wedding. It sets the tone for the entire event, and it's important to choose a location that reflects your personal style and fits the size and feel of your wedding. Determine your guest list size. Consider the number of guests you'll be inviting and choose a venue that can accommodate them. Consider the style of the venue. Choose a location that reflects your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Think about the location. Consider the location of the venue and whether it is convenient for your guests. Consider the time of year. Think about the time of year you wanted to get married and whether the venue has indoor or outdoor options. Tour the venue in person. It's a good idea to visit the venue in person to get a feel for the space and to discuss your vision with the venue coordinator. Confirm the availability. Make sure to check the availability of the venue and to book it as soon as possible to ensure that it is available on your desired date. Number 3. Deciding on a guest list. Once you have a rough idea of your budget and venue, it's time to start thinking about your guest list. This can be a tricky process, as you'll want to include all of the people you love and care about. But you'll also need to consider factors such as your budget and the size of your venue. Make a list of everyone you would like to invite. Start by making a list of everyone you would like to invite to your wedding. This should include family, friends, and co-workers. Consider your budget and venue constraints. Trim down your guest list based on your budget and the size of your venue. Consider the relationships between your guests. Try to strike a balance between family, friends, and co-workers. Set some ground rules. It's a good idea to establish some ground rules for your guest list, such as not allowing plus ones for single guests or limiting the number of children invited. Communicate with your partner. It's important to discuss your guest list with your partner and come to a compromise if necessary. Number 4. Selecting a wedding party. Choosing your wedding party is an exciting part of the planning process. These are the people who will stand by your side on your big day. So it's important to choose people who are special to you and who will support you throughout the planning process. Consider the size of your wedding. Think about the number of people you would like in your wedding party and how it will fit with the overall size of your wedding. Choose people who are special to you. Your wedding party should be made up of people who are important to you and who you want to stand by your side on your big day. Consider their availability and willingness to participate. Make sure to choose people who are available on your wedding day and who are willing to participate in the planning process. Communicate with your partner. It's a good idea to discuss your respective choices for the wedding party with your partner and come to a compromise if necessary. Number 5. Choosing a theme and colors. Your wedding theme and color scheme will help to tie all of the elements of your big day together. It's important to choose a theme and colors that reflect your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Reflect your personal style. Choose a theme and colors that reflect your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. 
Consider the time of year and location. Think about the time of year and the location of your wedding and choose a theme and colors that fit with these factors. Use your venue as inspiration. Take inspiration from the aesthetic of your venue and use it to guide your theme and color choices. Don't be afraid to get creative. Your wedding should be a reflection of your personalities, so don't be afraid to think outside the box and choose a unique theme and color scheme. Consider the season. Think about the season in which you are getting married and choose colors that are appropriate for that time of year. Number six, hiring vendors. Once you have a clear idea of your budget and the overall vision for your wedding, it's time to start thinking about vendors. This includes everything from your photographer and videographer to your florist and DJ. Research and compare different vendors. Take the time to research and compare different vendors in your area. Look at their portfolios and read reviews to get an idea of their style and quality of work. Meet with potential vendors in person. It's a good idea to meet with potential vendors in person to discuss your vision for your wedding and to get a feel for their style and personality. Ask for references. Don't be afraid to ask for references from past clients to get an idea of their experience working with the vendor. Confirm the details. Once you have chosen your vendors, be sure to confirm all of the details with them, including the date, time, and any specific requests you have. Don't be afraid to negotiate with vendors on price and terms. It's important to find a balance between getting what you want and staying within your budget. Number seven, handling wedding stationery. Wedding stationery includes everything from your save the dates and invitations to your programs and thank you notes. It's important to choose a design and style that reflects the overall feel of your wedding and to be consistent with your theme and color scheme. Choose a design and style that reflects the overall feel of your wedding. Your wedding stationery should match the theme and style of your wedding. Consider the formality of your wedding. Choose stationery that is appropriate for the formality of your wedding. Think about the size of your guest list. Consider the number of guests you'll be inviting when ordering your stationery. Don't forget the details. In addition to your invitations, be sure to order any additional items such as place cards, seating charts, and menu cards. Order enough. It's a good idea to order a few extra invitations and other stationary items in case of any mistakes or additions to your guest list. Number 8. Planning the ceremony and reception. Now it's time to start thinking about the details of your ceremony and reception. This includes everything from the layout and decor to the music and timeline of events. Consider the style of your wedding. Think about the overall feel you want to create for your ceremony and reception and plan accordingly. Think about the size of your guest list. Consider the number of guests you'll be inviting and choose a venue that can accommodate them. Plan the layout and decor. Choose a layout and decor that reflects the theme and style of your wedding. Plan the music and timeline of events. Choose music that reflects your personal style and creates the desired atmosphere for your ceremony and reception. Create a timeline of events for your wedding day to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Incorporate cultural or religious traditions. If you have specific cultural or religious traditions that you would like to include in your ceremony and reception, be sure to plan for them. Number 9. Choosing a menu and drinks. Food and drinks are an important part of any wedding, and it's important to choose a menu that reflects your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Reflect your personal style. Choose a menu and drinks that reflect your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Consider your guest list. Think about the size of your guest list and any dietary restrictions. Choose a variety of options. It's a good idea to offer a variety of options to cater to different tastes and preferences. Consider the time of year. Choose menu and drink options that are appropriate for the time of year. Don't forget the drinks. In addition to the menu, be sure to plan for drinks. Will you have a full bar, a signature cocktail, or just beer and wine? Number 10. Handling the attire and beauty. The attire and beauty aspects of your wedding should reflect your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Reflect your personal style. Choose attire and beauty looks that reflect your personal style and the overall feel of your wedding. Consider the formality of your wedding. Choose attire that is appropriate for the formality of your wedding. Don't forget the wedding party. Be sure to consider the attire and beauty looks for the wedding party as well. Start shopping and trying on dresses early. It's a good idea to start shopping and trying on dresses early to ensure that you have enough time to find the perfect one. Book appointments early. 
be sure to book any beauty appointments, such as hair and makeup trials, early to ensure that you have enough time to try out different looks. Number 11. Planning the Honeymoon Your honeymoon is the perfect opportunity to relax and celebrate your new marriage. It's important to choose a destination that reflects your personal interests and budget. Determine your budget. Consider your budget and how much you can afford to spend on your honeymoon. Choose a destination that reflects your interests. Think about your personal interests and choose a destination that fits with them. Consider the time of year. Choose a destination that is suitable for the time of year you want to travel. Think about the length of your trip. Consider how long you wanted to be away and choose a destination that fits with that. Don't forget the logistics. Be sure to consider any travel logistics such as flights and accommodations when planning your honeymoon. Number 12. Finalizing the details and delegating tasks. As the big day approaches, it's important to finalize all of the details and delegate tasks to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Create a timeline of events for your wedding day to help keep everything organized. Assign specific tasks. Delegate specific tasks to yourself and your wedding party to ensure that everything is taken care of. Communicate with your vendors. Be sure to confirm all of the details with your vendors, including the date, time, and any specific requests you have. Don't forget the little things. Don't forget to take care of any small details such as favors and welcome bags for out-of-town guests. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks to trusted friends and family to help lighten your workload. We hope this video has been helpful in providing a comprehensive guide on how to plan your dream wedding. Remember to stay organized, stay true to your personal style, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. If you have, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. We'll see you in the next video.